What are you even doing? Just hanging out. That doesn't look like hanging out. It looks like you ha you're like your back is snapping off. There's no chiropractors in this world. Just like the baby. Oh, okay then. Well, <clears throat> we, we, we. Well, chiropractor. Wait, what? You're yeah, right. There are no chiropractors in this plaza. We we don't even need them really. We're squids. We don't have you know skeletal structures. So uh, or bones. So I no, mean, yeah. okay. By the way, if you want to know what every charger in this game looks like, but but he's using a tad attack. Gosh, you did! You, you, you know what? You just ruined it. You know, what? get get out, get out of my plaza. You ruined it. Cause that. Bye. Get out of my plaza. Get out of my plaza. <laughs> okay then. Well, uh, we have here today with me, Meister is Rydell joining me from his channel. It's Riddell. It's Riddell joining me from his channel. You pronounce my name wrong one more time. I'm going to slap. Rydell. I warned him, you know, I can't be- Oh my gosh, Kobe, we're in a game with Nintendo. Trademarked. This yep, is gonna be- but Oh, so it must be one of those, like, fraud Twitter accounts. Okay, I got you. Mm-hmm. That was a joke, if you can't tell. Cause I- There's gonna be some stupid comment who's gonna say, Oh, no, that's, that's not actually Nintendo. You guys are idiots. Oh. Oh, I don't care. So, you so probably... anyway, let's get right into it. Today we're going to be talking about the... Balance patch? The balance patch, yeah. That they released for uh, Splatoon version 2.2.0. Oh. Yeah. So and, uh, I'll just gonna... be going right on through all the updates and informing all y'all, as they say down south, on what is going on in the land of the squids this evening. It'll be occurring this Tuesday, October 19th, 2015. And a lot of you may not like it, because... You all are a bunch of a bunch of scrubby, you know, crack on roller mains, and we don't like you. Okay. Well, anyway, I have the patch notes in front of me. Let's go right on through it. First off, the Spotter Shot, the Tetatech Spider Shot, the Hero Shot Replica, and the Octo Shot Replica all got decreased, decreased base damage from 36 to 35. A well, very slight nerf, but it would pile on after a while. Well, it means, it means defense ups are probably more effective against it. Because honestly, yeah. I feel like it's so hard just to not get it for two shots. Because I wear a lot of defense up just because... Yeah. So, it's not a big nerf on it, but it's there. Next up, we have the NZAP 85 and the NZAP 89, which have increased walking speed when firing by 11%. So you'll be going slightly, very, very slightly faster. Very, very slightly. Those words go together perfectly. Next up on our list, we got Splash-O-Matic and neo splash matic which have an increased base damage. Oh, crap. From 26 to 28. <laughs> increased base damage from 26 to 28, so they have two points of strength added to them. The Splattershot Pro and the Forge Splattershot Pro have decreased ink usage, so you'll have pretty much more ammo in the tank now by 5%. The Dual Squelter and Custom Dual Squelter have an increased walking speed of 20% when firing. That will definitely be noticeable um, when it comes down to it. I'm surprised the sprinkler didn't get I know, it's actually a little bit surprised. Um, jet Squelcher and Custom Jet Squelcher oh, also have a decreased ink usage by 6%. Per six by 6%. L3 Nozzle Nose and the L3 Nozzle Nose D have increased oh, turf yeah, coverage by 10%. So, I go. guess those games that you... Fire! Oh, gosh! I missed so, attack. I guess those, for all of you um, Nozzle Nose users out there, and I don't mean the ones that hopped on when the Kraken came into it. Sorry, but... <laughs> You're jerks. Uh. Um, for all those games that you lost by 1%, maybe you will win now. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty big because of Nozzle. The H3 Nozzle, Nozzle Nose actually is already pretty good at <coughs> inking, um, that, getting turf. Now, the H3 Nozzle Nose has increased range by 15% and increased turf coverage by 15%. So that really changed some buffs there. We had, a, uh, we had like, one... One uh, um, nerf. H3 Nozzle Nose get increased range. And increased yeah, I just said that. Oh my gosh. Now all H3 the blasters. H3 is pretty crappy, actually. 
All the blasters minus the range blaster Ra deco. You mean the rapid blaster? I, that's what I mean. And the normal rapid blaster. The rapid blast. Well, actually, all the blasters. So I don't the normal blaster, the blaster, the custom blaster, the range blaster, and the range blaster custom have de a decreased maximum blast wave from 125 to 80. So basically, it can't one shot if it shoots next to you. Now it needs to get the direct hit to one shot you. A lot of yeah. people were really confused about this, and they thought that blasters couldn't one shot you at all in general. But it was cleared up very quickly. Um. Okay, and then the other one was set the limit for maximum blast wave damage to 100, even with gear that increases damage. So, what they're saying is that you cannot do, no matter how much damage ups you have on everything, shiny, whatever you want to call it, all damage ups, all three head, shoulders, knees, yeah. and toes on you, it you can't <clears throat> one hit kill with the bla uh, splash damage, I believe. Or you can only do 100 even. Crap. So you can't actually get it to a one-hit kill with the splash damage, I believe. But what weapon are you talking about? But nothing more. I'm sorry, I'm too busy playing the game. What the weapon? blast, the maximum blast wave is 100 for it, even with as many damage ups as that you have. Um. So even. Maybe. Yes. Yes. So always. I believe that's what it, it will, means. It'll never like do it from a range, I think. No, I think it just means that you have to have all damage ups to have it the way you uh, the old one was. Well, you wouldn't do that anyway. Yeah, the rapid. Blaster. It just means you can't be really cheesy in tower control with it. Yeah, that like people have annoying. been, because you know you you'd be playing every other game. I swear, I've never seen Luna blasters outside of tower control. Like people just say, oh, it's I very rare. Um, the range blaster. I'm going back, going back onto the list. The range blaster and the range blaster deco, and deco deco whatever you ink. say. I've heard deco. And bomb right. rush. It's under. Increased fire rate from 28. You were probably gonna pop that in because you could know to 20 when firing from quit from squid state. So if you fire your shot, dip down and come back up, you can actually shoot even faster now with the rapid blaster. Yeah, rapid. If you throw a little style in there and you know you make them. I mean, I hope this applies to the uh, the pro version because the pro version honestly needs something because and it has a seeker thing where it can jump out of seekers and be nice if you had. And them. they also made the general fire rate uh, faster by a bell. That's gonna kill me. Uh, uh, it's from Dang 40. it! Oh, that's a big pa patch we're gonna be talking about in a minute. Yeah, that, that down yeah. will no longer be able to do that. Yeah, um, they increased the fire rate on it from 40 from 0.43 to 0.33, so it shoots faster now. So it's gonna be it's getting buffs. Um, and you use this weapon a lot, so you're gonna have <laughs> fun time. Well, now I don't need to have so many ink saver mains on this thing. Okay, oh, now we're getting running. into the meat and potatoes, the rollers. <laughs> the the rollers. rollers. The carbon roller. The carbon roller. Every Deco. roller got affected. Basically. The splat roller. The crack on splat roller. The hero roller replica. All of them have adjusted the splash damage. Players can only splat their opponents in one hit from the center of the roller. So they can't just, you know, do what that guy was doing. <laughs> yeah, uh, it has to, they have have to, to aim. Be, it's not a big change if you're good at aiming. You have to aim. Yes. So. Um, next up is the opponents cannot be splatted in one hit when the player is out of ink. So if you're on low ink and that next shot is the one that finishes off your ink, you will only do as much damage as you had in ink. So I guess before the little bits that would come out were still one hit kill. Yeah, they, you know, they um, still kill. particles. I died three times. Wow. Okay. You did awful. I didn't think I died that much. And also, they balance the amount of damage when the roller is repeatedly swung. So if you're just spam flicking all the time, mm -mm, can't do that anymore. It's going to be a lot weaker. Now we're going to go on to our friend the Dynamo Roller and the Gold Dynamo Roller. They increase the amount of time needed before ink begins to uh, fill after swing the roller. So you can't spam and then dip down and then and spam as much. Yeah. Um, they adjusted the splash damage. It can only be hit if it's the center it's, of the roller again. Again? It's the same change as the... Um, same change, but it's 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 in a different section. On I guess the, it's the time to and the weapon. opponents cannot be splatted in one hit when the player is out of ink. And the charge calculation method for damage when the roller is repeatedly swung. So it's pretty much the same thing as the rollers, except worded differently. <clears throat> the ink brush and ink brush novu decreased ink usage by 10% when the players are running it while inking. So when you're doing that run, 
This game's netcode needs some mental help. Yeah, so when you're doing that, um, you you can run further now, because you're not using as much ink. It's so honestly it's not too big of a change. I don't know if it affects jump- No. <laughs> this game needs some mental help. No, I'm not sure if it affects jumping and shooting, because if it does, it's not going to affect me at much at all, because I jump- I jump fling, because yeah. that's- because it because unlike other weapons <coughs> where they get the sp where the reticle has more spread since it's an ink brush it doesn't have spread so it actually messes their messes they have to aim while you're jumping so that's good but I don't know how it would affect me now we have the 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 weapon for what is it Moray towers oh yes the e leader the e leader K. I've killed although this is just a sniper in general this weapon uh, with the e leader I've wiped out like on, on tower control it's stupid because you can kill multiple people at once I I've killed e like three people okay, at once the e leader is not a stupid weapon because chargers are not a stupid weapon well, it's the I fact mean, that it's... there's no reason to use any other charger besides the e leader that because made it a problem because the e leader exists yeah anyway what they did to the e leader the e leader 3k the custom 3k 3k scope and the three custom 3k scope is the range of damage that can be done to opponents without fully charging the weapon has been adjusted to 40 to 100 it was previous it was previously 40 to 120 so it's doing it's not charging it's not getting as much damage as fast it'll still one hit kill on full charge but um, I believe like a half charge could kill people, just not without the full range. I think now you need more than a half charge to kill somebody. Um, yeah. The bamboozler, moving on to that, is um, now not is using no, making 12 point five percent less ink. So it has more ammo in the tank now, so it can it can shoot more. Now, um, one of my personal favorite weapons is coming up. Uh, the smaller version of it, the Mini Splatman, has shortened the amount of time needed to charge to the first charge level from 0.33 seconds to 0.3 seconds. So if you thought the thing earlier charged ridiculously fast before, it charges now even more ridiculously fast. Shorten the, the time of... N the amount of time needed to charge from the second level from 5 to 0.45. So they did make it faster, it shoots faster now, uh, or charges faster, better yet. Um, shorten the... Yep, and that's oh, what they did there. Uh, Heavy Splatling has de decreased, it got kind of nerfed here, ink, no, decreased ink usage by 10%. So it doesn't use as much ink, again, more ink in the tank, so it's actually a buff. I think they want to make it so you're the game faster by just um, yeah. reducing the amount of time you have to go and get ink. Yeah, they did that with a lot of weapons. The slosher and the tri slosher have increased damage against Rainmaker shields by that 33%. Was, that makes it viable in Rainmaker now, because literally you cannot use this weapon in Rainmaker, because it would it would take forever and a half. Oh yeah, you. I, I remember, I, I love the slosher, it's one of my favorite weapons in really? the game. That was My crap. favorite weapon, I'm not going to lie, favorite weapon in the game. Uh, it's like a bloody shotgun, and I'm I'm totally a fan of that. It just shoots out this like big. Oh gosh, I don't know how we both. I, I love that. just also around walls. It the way that the 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 hit box, the damage box, whatever you want to call it, okay, like retains something. over walls. I'm a big fan of that, and now it's more effective in Rainmaker, which is my favorite game mode. So I'm gonna have a ball with that. A lot of people don't like Rainmaker. And that's right. all the changes to the weapons. Now we're moving on to the sub-weapons. Sub Sub-weapon adjustments. Point says... <coughs> Sorry, I cannot speak right now. Point sensor. Increase the radius of the area that affects enemies by 17 effect. 17%. So, when you throw it, it's 17% bigger circle that you need to get them in. What was that ink So that? it got buffed. And it decreased this, it, it changed it. So, so it's now not, instead it's of tracking echo. them for 10 seconds, it tracks them for 8 seconds now. Honestly, so this is a trade-off. I guess, I did find the hitbox on the point sensors was really finicky and it didn't work like a lot of the time when I tried using it, so I think this will make it a little bit more user-friendly. For all you gal users out there, who used the, the, um, 90, the one 96 gal. 96 gal. The splash wall was nerfed. nerfed. And Kraken was nerfed, so your um, set was nerfed. I'm going to start with the um, splash wall. Lowered the resistance against opponents by 40%, so it's almost half as weak. The thing is, the reason they, why they did this is because the splash wall wasn't serving its proper purpose. It was meant to be def It was meant to be used as a... 
a defense wall for like a temporary moment. People used it kind of like as a permanent like wall. They would just it was, spam it. It was way too easy. It was way too easy to keep putting up walls and use it and like using them in very you know yeah. exploitable ways. Here's another thing they did to it. So they made it about four, they made it forty percent weaker. So that's nearly half. Um, and they increase the amount of time required to begin recharging the ink after throwing the weapon from 1.33 seconds to 2.67 seconds. Now, that is over a, an extra second that it'll take for you to um, get your um, ink back, which is big, considering that uses pretty much all of it, unless you have a ton of ink savers and uh, ink right, that happens. That happened. So you have that to deal with. Now we're going to move on to all of you Pedatechs out there who like the uh, Ink Zooka, which, in my opinion, needed this a lot. Okay, they this... decreased the fire rate from a maximum cooldown of 0.55 seconds to 0.92 seconds. So instead of taking a little bit more than a half second to fire, it takes about a full second. Okay, I gotta go get rid of those beacons. Those are gonna cost some Adjustments were made so that way the target displays consistently. So, I'm not 100% sure what that is fully meaning. Um, it means that probably the hitbox is now more, more consistent. Cause before, the hitbox is so janky and finicky that uh, I didn't really like it. it. It felt like sometimes you wouldn't get hit by it, but you did. Yeah. Now, here, here it is. Here it is. The Kraken nerf. The Kraken nerf. Increase the amount of turf needed to be inked before filling the, the gauge. So instead of you getting it, it's gonna be slower now. You used to need to get 180p in order to get the Kraken. Now you need 200, that's an extra. If you are good at basic math, which I am, I can do basic math, it's 20 extra points, which is probably, it's very little in the grand scheme of things. Um, might take you a few seconds longer to get it, but just a, eh, a few seconds would mean big. The next thing is a period of three quarters of a second before the target can attack after oh, using Zuka. the Kraken. So pretty much you can't pop the Kraken and then immediately attack with the Kraken anymore. Yeah, that's a that's a um, that's a, cause like if somebody were like if an ink brush were to sneak up on you and you were to pop the Kraken because you were about to die and then immediately Actually, this, attack. That's not the change you that. think. That's what I thought it was at first, but that's not the change. The change is... I think that's what it is. No, the change is, because they showed a demonstration of it, um, the change is actually... It's after um, Kraken is about to uh, disappear. It um, You can't attack instantly after you, it, it goes away. Because with oh, rollers, okay. it was stupid that you had access to your one-shot afterwards. They have a cooldown now, so you can't just... Oh, after you- oh, so, it means completely after using the Kraken. Yes. Okay. So after your Kraken is done, you can't attack. So that makes you vulnerable for a while after. Oh, Z leader party over here. Oh, it's just actually a Splat party. zones, they changed. That's all the sub-weapons and uh, specials. Um, we went through them all. Now they changed rank battle a little bit. They made it in splat zones where the team gauge will gradually go up. When, um, I think they're trying to encourage more comebacks at this mode yeah. because it's really hard to come back from like deficits. In splat zones, when when the counters completely stop, both teams will start to get their charge. Kind of like uh, tenacity. It's kind of weird though. Well, like tenacity. In this but... mode of all modes, the one where you're actually aching turf, you need a special gauge going up is a little weird to me. Yeah. Like, do they want this to become special <laughs> spam the game? Yeah, and tower control, um, big, big change, a lot of stuff. They also say stuff about Rainmaker in here. Um, but that's not really. Uh, I'm not really gonna go over the uh, the actual modes today. What they changed. I was just gonna go through the weapons. But if you if you want to look up the patch notes, you can. Just very minor things of a, just making your gauge go up in certain times and yeah. whatnot. Uh, I will put up on screen right now though the, the ranking ranked from S. The ranking uh, changes that they made from S to S plus and. S plus teams and whatnot. Just me out the entire thing. So um, that's that's what's gonna happen on Tuesday. So if you like your weapons the way they are, better play a lot of Splatoon between now and then because things are about to change. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Splat 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 splat